Hey friends, welcome to Night Graphics. In this video, we will be making this abstract background design. Let's start drawing it. Before we start drawing, make sure that the smart guides are on and don't forget to turn off this align art to pixel grid button. Now pick rectangle tool and draw an artboard size rectangle. Change the stroke size to none and for the fill color, come to this color panel. Open HSP options. Here enter 330 for hue, 75 for saturation and 100 for the brightness. Keep it selected, come to the object menu and lock the selection. Now zoom out a bit, pick ellipse tool, come right here along the edge of the artboard, press alt key and click here to open the dialog box. Enter 5 for both width and height. Keep the stroke size to none and fill it with this yellow color. Now come here at this side. Smart guides are helping me to mark the point right at the lower edge of the artboard. Just below the circle we drew above. Press Alt key, click here and enter 20 for both width and height. Pick black arrow tool, select both these shapes, come to the object menu, blend and choose make. Now double click here on blend tool, choose specified steps and enter 50 here. Keeping it selected, come to the effect menu, distort and transform and pick transform. Select this reference point, enter 4 degrees for the rotate value and make 23 copies. Pick black arrow tool and adjust it like this. With this selected, come to the object menu and lock the selection. Now open the symbols panel. If you don't have it docked here, come to window menu and find it right here. Okay, open the symbols library Choose dot pattern vector pack. Here select this dot pattern vector pack 14 and drag out a copy of it on the artboard. Place it like this. Now press this button to break the link of the symbol. From here select this blue color for the fill. With this selected, open the opacity menu here and select blend mode to be difference and set the opacity to 75%. Now come to the layers panel and lock the selection. Now pick rectangle tool, click here and enter 20 as width and 150 as height. Fill it with white color and keep the stroke to none. Alright, with this selected, double click on black arrow tool to open the move dialog box. Enter 40 as horizontal value and 0 for vertical value and click copy. The new copy is selected. Now press Ctrl D to repeat the move action. Repeat for approximately 50 times. Now select all these rectangles. Come to the transform panel and enter 45 degrees as shear value here. All these copies are selected, press Ctrl G to make a group. Now double click the rotate tool and enter 60 degrees here. Pick black arrow tool and adjust its position like this. With this selected, come to the object menu and lock the selection. Pick rectangle again. Click approximately here to open the dialog box. Enter 900 as width and 1200 as height. Change the fill to none and set the stroke size at 150. Come to the object menu, path and choose outline stroke. Now for the fill color, come to the color panel. Enter 245 for hue. 
100 for saturation and 27 for brightness. Now come to the swatches panel. This is that new color which is composed and we will need it later too. So just save it as swatch for now. Click this button to create a new swatch and name it blue 1. Alright, the shape is selected. Come to the object menu, path and pick offset path. Set the offset value at minus 40. Leave all other options as such and press OK. This new shape is selected and for its fill color, come to the color panel. Enter 200 for hue, 100 for saturation and 70 for brightness. Come to swatches panel and click this button to save this swatch. Let's name it blue 2. Pick black arrow tool. Select both these shapes. Press Ctrl G to make a group of these shapes. With this selected, double click on this rotate tool and enter minus 30 degrees here. With black arrow, set its position like this. Again pick rectangle tool, click here, enter 1200 as width and 600 as height. Set the fill color to none and set the stroke value to 100. Go to object menu, path and create outlines. Now for its fill, choose this cyan color. With this selected, double click the rotate tool here and enter minus 30 degrees here. With black arrow tool, adjust its position like this. Now select these two shapes, pick live paint bucket tool, open the swatches panel, select this blue 2 color we created earlier, come over this area and click here to fill it with this color. Now select this blue 1 color and click over these areas to fill them with this color. Now come to the layers panel and lock all the artwork like this so that you don't click on any of them accidentally. Pick rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Come back to the layers panel. Here unlock all these shapes. Now press Ctrl A to select all the artworks. Go to the object menu, clipping mask and choose make. That's it. Here's the final design. Do share your reviews through hitting like and sharing this video. Goodbye for now.